you can see an example of this charge quality that exists within symmetry and also understand the traditional sort of um, identical uh, mirror image idea of symmetry on your own face. Let's put the um, facial symmetry graphics up here. Um, uh, symmetry is our idea of beauty. We have two faces here. Um, which is uh, more beautiful? Hmm? <laughs> They're not identical, but can you tell why? Can you tell how? Put the second faces up. They're the same person. They're not identical. Is one more beautiful than the other? That's unfair. It's actually a cheap shot. We don't want to go there. But, um, <clears throat> but in fact, this is an artist who takes uh, the uh, mirror image of faces and makes identical faces of the left and right. So you have two left faces on one side and two right faces on the other side. Go back to the male. You can see if you look carefully, you've got the exact symmetry of the pimple there on the chin, yes. right? right? Which indicates it's a fake because we don't expect exact symmetry, we expect close symmetry. So in a sense, the right face and the left face are not identical copies of each other. Go back to the female. They're negative and positives. It's almost like they're charged. They're, they're face and anti-face, and together they form a face, and that's sort of the ultimate beauty. There's something a little freaky about yeah. this one here. Um, and just as there is here, and just as when you see your inverted image in the mirror, there's something a little strange about that. Alan, why is um, symmetry perhaps an attractor in biology and uh, something that keeps the species going forward, the, the kinds of things that, uh, you know, we're attracted to uh, encourage reproduction, for instance? Well, I think uh, for, for the more intelligent uh, animals, um, uh, that, that symmetry is associated with order. And I think we like to, to find order. The universe is a very strange place. Uh, it's confusing. Uh, there are all kinds of, of phenomena that we don't understand. And to, to, to find order, uh, I think, is uh, gives us a certain amount of, of security and stability and sanity. I think also that symmetry uh, is associated with, with, with beauty. And... Uh, well, we've said that, but does symmetry specifically encourage mating, for instance? Well, yes. Um, uh, I hope that my wife is not listening to this. Is she um, asymmetric? <laughs> <laughs> or not beautiful? <laughs> Well, actually, um, uh, art historians, um, I'm thinking of Ernest Gumbrich, have, have analyzed our aesthetic. Um, this is getting off the track a little bit, uh, what our aesthetic is. And it turns out that what we like most is mostly symmetry with a little asymmetry mixed in. And it's sort of a balance between boredom and confusion. If everything is perfectly symmetric, and this is including a work of art, um, we find it boring. I mean, I found that picture of the Taj Mahal, I don't know whether we've, sh we've shown it yet, um, is, is, is boring. Um, on the other hand, if everything is, is random, with, with no symmetry at all, we're confused. And so you want to, to sort of navigate between boredom on the one hand and confusion on the other. So that would be Trump and, and Clinton. <laughs> <laughs>